So how much does it scare you that last night the turnovers flipped and Golden State had 20 turnovers and Cleveland had only nine turnovers mm -hmm. and it was still a wipeout? Skip, it's concerning, but I look at this. J.R. Smith played 14 minutes, gave us zero points. Tristan Thompson, the reason why he's ineffective is because Zaja doesn't play much. So now when they go to their lineup, KD is playing the four, Draymond's playing the five. I, I think KD is kind of playing the five. Well, he's, he's, he's like, but, whatever. But yeah, he, I, he has to play Draymond or he has to play KD. In any situation, he's a mismatch. Mm -hmm. And so when somebody turns the corner, you come to help. They either get layups or they get kicks. And then when they get long rebounds because you're scrambling, the ball goes somehow goes right to KD, goes right to KD or Steph or Clay. Mm -hmm. Skip, unless if I'm if I'm Coach Lou, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit Jr. I'm gonna start Shump, and one of my first guys off the bench is gonna be Derrick Williams because you can't ask Bron to give you a triple double and try to play defense on KD. You need bodies. I thought he was Mount Rushmore. Why can't you ask him to do that? But the same reason you didn't ask Michael Jordan to play Magic after he cooked him for a triple double in Game One of the '91 Finals. The who, same who reason. Who won that series? Help I, I, Skip. All I'm saying is, is that normally the best player, Larry Bird, never played the best opposing offensive player because you needed to save those legs for the offensive end. Let Derek, let Shump bang on him. Let Derek Williams, because although Derek Williams is not a prolific scorer, he can score the basketball. And he is a big body to maybe bother KD somewhat, as much as you can bother him. Mm. I'm not saying he goes, he's not a defensive stopper. But they have to do something because you can't get zero points from JR, zero points from Darren Williams. That's just, that just won't cut it. you got to make it a bench series because they're big three, Cavs big three, and the Warriors mm. big three. Somehow they got to push or be within two or three points of each other. Other than that, I don't really see how they win the series. I, I did like the way Shumpert came out and attacked last yes. night, so I assume he'll be elevated in the starting lineup yes. in place of JR, who goose-egged again last night. What's I assume about? he's got stuff on his head from off the court, you know. Skip, they, think about this, Skip. They go down, okay, they make a basket, they're down one. The Cavs like, okay, Cavs, okay, now, baby, we're in this thing. Oh, I can just see you. Oh, I was like, you don't skip out. Because, you know, every time I watch the game, I don't have the volume on. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to Sade. I say, oh, I turned it up a little louder because Sade was starting to swing. Uh, sweet uh, uh, Taboo uh, uh, and Tar Baby, that's, those are my favorite songs. So I was like, oh, yeah, we got them now, Joe. We got them now. And what did JR do? How could you listen to that kind of music with that kind of action? I, I'm superstitious, Skip. I've been listening to it the whole way. Well, it didn't work. Start a new superstition. Oh, I, I, I did. I started listening to Prince. Oh, that'll that, work. That didn't work well, now either. I'm afraid. I listened to Michelle and yeah. Dago Cello. But here's the, <laughs> the, the, the crux of my argument, Skip. They're down one. J.R. files KD mm -hmm. on a three-pointer. So he makes that four-point play. That's five. It was not Steph, a smart foul. Steph hits a three. Now it's eight. Mm -hmm. They get a layup. It's mm -hmm. ten. So you go from down. And under a minute, you go from being down one. You could almost touch them, and now they're almost out of distance. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what they can do better than any other team that I've ever seen. They can go on these spurts of 9, 15, 20 points at the drop of a hat, and it's demoralizing. You're about to touch them, and then you can't see their taillights. Mm. Skip. Mm. But I feel good because it's going home. All the Warriors did was hold serve. Skip. All I got to do is just hold my serve. The thing what they need to do it slowed this pace down. They had 100 shots. The Warriors had what, 86, 87? Shots? Yeah. 89? 89. Yep. So yep. you plus 11, and you lose by 19. You need to be somewhere in the 75, 80 range at, mm. at the top end mm. because you need to minimize the possessions that you're going to give Golden State because if you're going to allow them to shoot 40%, 50% from the floor, Skip, mm -hmm. and give them 89 shots, you're losing. Mm. I don't care if LeBron, unless LeBron has a 50-20-20 game, mm -hmm. if you allow them to shoot 90 shots and go 50% from the floor, because guess what? A lot of those are going to be threes. Mm. So I told you that Golden State would win game one by 20, and it was by 22. Forgive me for that. Last night I said they'd win by 20, and they won by 19. And LaShannon Sharp, mm -hmm. I hate to inform you of this, but over the first two games of these finals on the biggest stage in this sport, Kevin Durant's making a case that he's now the best all-around player in basketball, even better than your man LeBron James. No, that, better than your guy Kawhi. Well, he's not there right now because he got hurt by Zaza, so I can't argue him at this moment.
but I'm talking about on the final stage. Wouldn't you agree so far? Yes. He is, thank you very much for saying that. He, he maybe, may, I don't know the relationship, Skip. You could probably speak to it better than I can. I'm sure he did love Russ, but he looked at Russ as like, this is why I'm leaving. I can't win with you because at the end of the day, end of the day you would rather have stats than rings. Mm-hmm. He went to a team, the way they move the ball, you're going to get your stats. Mm-hmm. If, Kev, if they were to play the entirety of the game during the regular season, Kevin Durant would average about 32, Steph would average about 30, Clay would average about 24. Mm-hmm. But because they get so far ahead and they're resting, mm-hmm. they don't need all those points. 35, 11, and 7. That's what he's averaging on 50-plus percent shooting. But in the end, Skip, KD is going to win because after this year, he's going to be in the running for the MVP. He's going to string together. They're going to win some because they're in their prime. They are. They're going to win some more rings. And what is Russell going to have? He has one more triple-double in the regular season. He's going to have an MVP, but he's not going to even come close. Mm. You can't win a championship with a point guard that is a shoot-first, ball-dominant mm-hmm. player. You can't win like that. You show me the point guard that you won playing that style of basketball in the 70-plus year history, and then I'll change my tune. Skip, you're not winning with him. 